Hey guys, I hope you had a great turkey day if you're living in the USA. Um, if you didn't, I hope you had a great Thursday. Um, I have another book review for you. I'm plowing through these books like nothing. This next one is called Bone Chiller by Graham McName. And um, I have to say, I really liked it. It's about this um, boy who lives in um, Canada. And he is an army brat. All of his friends are. There's four of them. There is Danny, who is like the main character that the story is told through his eyes. There's Pike, who is hilarious. He is a army brat to the extreme. And he's kind of crazy, so the army won't let him in. But he loves to blow stuff up. He's hilarious. Then there's his brother named Howie. And Howie is more of the quiet, smart brains type, and they they mix together well because Pike is crazy and Howie isn't, and so they, like, combine, they have a normal brain. And um, there's Ash, who is a girl who is hardcore. Like, she um, is totally boyish. There's not a girly bone in her body, but she's very, like, sensual and very um, attractive, and Danny has a thing for her. And she has a thing for him, too. So, it's about these four teenagers who live in um, Canada. And um, there's a monster in the woods that starts to prey on them. And it only preys on teenagers. And it's it can only live in, like, the, the wintertime because it's cold and it can't live where there's heat. And so... They, it starts to get Danny, and then it starts to get Howie, and they start to hallucinate and see visions and have really vivid nightmares, and they have to try to um, kill this monster before they die. And uh, there has been a couple of teenagers already who had gone missing over the years, and nobody, real, of course nobody thought it was a monster because, you know, there's no such thing. So, um, it was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. The writing is really good. It's excellent. Um, at first, I thought, oh, it's about a monster. Like, I don't really like the horror that's, like, aliens and monsters. And I like, like, realistic horror. But I have to say, it was pretty, it was pretty intense. Like, there was a couple parts where I was like, ooh. But, um, I really enjoyed it. Here's the cover again. Very, very excellent book. Look at that thing. Right there. That's the monster. And I'm assuming that's Danny right there. Can't really tell. But, um, yeah, and, and Danny's mother died. And it's just him and his father. And they only came to Canada. They, they originally are from Toronto. And they moved to, um, where did they move to? Harvest Cove. And that's like far off from Toronto and um that's where this monster thing lives and it's kind of horrifying like the description has silver eyes and it's really huge and it doesn't have fur it has like really white skin and once you get stung like you get like a little ink dot wherever it hit you in this case in Danny's case it was on his palm and then on Howie's it was on his neck and it's like a blue pinprick and when you get bit by that, you start to get cold, and you start to get pale, and you obviously hallucinate and stuff, and it's almost like it's prepping you to be eaten, so, um, because it can't have anything hot, so it has to kind of cool you off, like it has to put you in the fridge for a couple of weeks, and usually it takes about two weeks for the, you know, the fever and stuff to set in. So, I really enjoyed this novel. It was really cute, really funny at parts. It wasn't cute, like, but Ash's and um, um, Danny's relationship is cute. Like, the first time they met, Danny decided to take up boxing. And so he's in the ring, and in comes this person with black hair, and he, and he got knocked out by them. And he assumed it was a boy, but Ash took off the helmet, and it was her, so... He definitely was knocked out when he first saw her, so I thought that was really funny. And, um, yeah, definitely recommend it. I, obviously, I only had a book review yesterday. I read it in, like, a day and a half. And it's super, super easy re reading. Like, there's, like, a lot of spaces and stuff, so I read it really quick. I don't know why, but I love 
that kind of spacing. I, I don't like big blocks of text. I don't know. I'm really weird like that. But yeah, I, so I definitely recommend it. It's a really, really good book. There's lots of cliffhangers. There's lots of like kind of ooh parts. It's not scary, like a ghost story scary, but it's definitely weird and strange. Um, so especially if you're a teenager, because it can't get me anymore. I'm too old. But if you're a teenager and you live in Canada, you better watch out. And um, it kind of, this monster kind of, is like a legend in Canada, kind of like the abominable sno snowman and stuff. And so, um, they don't believe that it's it's just a legend, you know. So, it was really interesting. And um, they, Ash is part Indian, and so of course there's legends of the tribe that he gets told, and they're really creepy. And um, so, yeah, if you want a good kind of spooky read. I definitely recommend it. And, um, yeah, that's my review. The next book I'm going to start right now is The Red Necklace by Sally Gardner, and I'll let you know how that goes. I'm not too excited. Well, I am excited, but look at this. What I hate. Big box of text. Of course, it won't turn me off from the book, but still. If it could be avoided, I appreciate it. So, yeah, I definitely, oh, and I wanted to, um, play at my blog. I just got a, um, like a redo on the blog. And so please check it out. The link will be in this sidebar. And, um, I would really appreciate you guys if you'd fo follow me. Follow me. Um, <laughs> so I'm still in kind of like a turkey coma right now. So, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, I'm home alone by myself until tomorrow around like 4 o'clock, so that's exciting. And, um, yeah. Oh my god, Christmas is like a month away. That's so scary. Less than a month away. Gosh, it's like 28 days away. It's crazy. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.